Hello and welcome to another episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason and I am in St. Peter's Cemetery in Normandy, Missouri and it's a huge cemetery and there's some famous people buried here including a lot of Negro League baseball players and there's a cenotaph for who I consider an unsung civil rights icon and his name was Lloyd Gaines and I will tell you more about it along this journey. Here we go. Lloyd Gaines' life was best summed up by Charlie Brennan, who does the KMOX morning show on the radio here in St. Louis. Lloyd Gaines was one of St. Louis's best and brightest, burst like a shooting star onto the national scene in the 1930s. And also, like a meteor, he disappeared just as quickly. Lloyd Lionel Gaines was born in 1911 in Water Valley, Mississippi. After his father's death, Gaines' family moved to St. Louis, where they settled in the Central West End neighborhood. In 1931, Gaines graduated first in his class at Vashon High School, which is not too far from here. He later got his bachelor's degree at Lincoln University, which is a historically black college in Jefferson City. He was president of a senior class and an honors history graduate. While attending, he worked many odd jobs that included sell selling magazines on the street. So the next step for Gaines was to become an attorney, which is what he always wanted. He always wanted to attend Mizzou or the University of Missouri's law school program. However, there were some major obstacles. It was all white at the time, and remember, this was 1936. He wanted to be the first black man to enroll. Gaines' application was rejected because of his skin color. The school even told him if he were to apply and get accepted to an out-of-state law school like Kansas, Missouri would pay his tuition. And also keep in mind that during the segregation era in the 1930s, Missouri at the time had very few African-American lawyers, like maybe three dozen or so. But he didn't want to go out of state. He wanted to study in Missouri, his home state. Gaines would sue and lose his case in the state court. He appealed and would later go to the University of Michigan and continue his studies, but this time earning a master in economics. Meanwhile, the case would go all the way to the United States Supreme Court. December 12, 1938 was the date that Gaines won his case in a 6-2 Supreme Court decision. One thing to note is there was a vacancy on the nine-judge panel at the time. That ruling, as it turned out, was the beginning of the end for segregated schools and not just Missouri, but all over the United States. It would eventually lead to the landmark Supreme Court case in 1954, which we all know as the Brown versus Board of Education, which hopefully we know was the decision that ended the separate but equal notion in outlawing school segregation. However, four months later, something mysteriously happened. March 19, 1939 was the day where Gaines was visiting his fraternity brothers in Chicago. He left the fraternity's apartment complex building that evening without telling anyone. Some believe that he was out buying postage stamps. Now, at the time, you know, many people thought it was usual for him to run off and disappear, but he would eventually come back. Well, he never came back. Some believe that he was attacked and, uh, I don't know, the worst happened. Some believe that he just walked away from it all and assumed a new identity. Some even believe that he moved to Mexico or New York City and started a new life under a new name. But whatever the case, you know, that led to him being elevated to civil rights icon. To this day, now there have been a few investigations, including one by the FBI, as far as um, 2000, 2007, but for all those years, after 80 plus years, the mystery remains unsolved. This is the cenotaph for Lloyd Gaines. Unfortunately, it is very hard to read, but it basically just says the same stuff as I did. It tells a lot about the history. And this was put by the Elijah Lovejoy um, chapter on November 6, 1999. Now, in case you're probably wondering about the two American Patriots marker, which is just right in front of me and above the cenotaph, it talks about Homer Gilliam Phillips and Ida, who are buried right here. Now, Homer 
was one of the few African-American lawyers during the Depression era here in St. Louis. But he is mostly well known for having a hospital named after him, the Homer G. Phillips Hospital, which was close to being renamed the St. Louis City Hospital No. 2. But this is a guy that saw another tragic end. The hospital existed from 1937 to 1979, but unfortunately he would not live to see the hospital opened in his name. He was attacked by a white mob when Homer was 51 years of age, and the case, unfortunately, was never solved. So I believe it made perfect sense for the Elijah Lovejoy chapter to put the cenotaph right here. And as I was saying, Gaines was never found, never identified again. Maybe a few or a handful of people know of what actually happened to him. Nobody knows the whereabouts, but, and a lot of historians and um, a lot of um, people that went to that school at the University of Missouri have uh, kind of came to different conclusions about that. But nonetheless, he is uh, marked here in St. Peter's Cemetery. And speaking of the University of Missouri Law School, um, they did um, eventually posthumously give him an honorary law degree. And in addition, a portrait of Gaines hangs inside the law school there. It was actually a honorary law degree, my bad. But still, he deserved to be recognized, and to this day. Now, he is not the status of, say, Thurgood Marshall or Martin Luther King Jr. And speaking of Thurgood Marshall, um, him and the NAACP did assist him really well in those court cases that fought for him going to get his education, his higher education. So whatever became of Lloyd Lionel Gaines, may he rest in peace. And I hope he found his peace, as he is known as. He just, he didn't really want to be famous or a hero, but arguably he is. All right, thanks for tuning in to this special Black History episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason in St. Peter's Cemetery, just outside the Cenotaph of Lloyd Lionel Gaines. Signing off.